Welcome, I'm Chair General Saturday Soldiers, it's ostentatiousness, and really sorry for the hi hiatus. My uh, internet service provider and Telstra seem to be conspiring against me to provide me with no internet for two weeks. Sorry to say sorry, I'm going to be uh, we're playing a lot of games in a very short period of time and hoping I can upload one a day. segment ostentatiousness versus the world because I will be playing through every Total War game that I own. I will try to buy Napoleon and I will go chronologically through them in sort of a succession game where I'll be say Britain in Barbarian Invasion and then Britain in um sorry Medieval 2 and then you know if I conquer France then I'll be France in, say, Empire. So, you know, it's all... No, nothing's really set in stone. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly pause the video and uh, test my sound level. So I'll be right back, guys. And back. I believe I got this to work. Um, I upped the... Uh, it's actually funny. My microphone volume is at 100%, and my sound volume is at 10%. So I had to up the decibels of my microphone 20 points, so if this blows out your eardrums, I'm sorry, if you still can't hear me, I'm going to try to invest in a studio quality microphone sometime soon, so I'm really sorry about that, guys, um, so yeah, um, I've played a lot of this game, a lot, like, I can't believe how much of this I've played, I, sorry, I'm just gonna, I knew I should have done this off camera, very professional, but I was gonna see if there's any... Yeah, that's... My god! Ooh. Jesus. No anti this thing. Uh, sorry guys about this. <laughs> um... So it would appear... Oh no, light screen works. Um, so yeah, because I'm playing on such a big monitor, uh, 1920x1080p, um, this, this image is not going to be good. I could play on my smaller monitor, but I just don't want to. So, uh, I don't know why I was just right-clicking. Okay, so... I've played around with the configuration files a bit, I should warn you guys, and you'll see some factions you can't play as, like SPQR and Macedonia. Who else? Pontus and Armenians, Dacians, Thracians, Spanish, Scythians, the Numidians. Yeah, so, um. Played around with it a tiny bit. Did you, you won't even notice. Um, but <laughs> anyway, uh, I believe when you play as SPQR, it actually crap. Uh, yeah, SPQR, it actually crashes the game. So should be fun if I try to do that. I might do that off screen. But um, sorry about that. Um, so I'm going to be playing as Rome, despite the fact that there is Britain, and I and. Yeah, Gaul, and I do want to kind of play as Gaul and Britain in later, uh, almost, you know, in later games, but, because I have Barbarian Invasion, sorry for that sound you just heard, guys, I'm going to be expanding Rome, then I'm going to go as the Saxons, I'm going to take Britain, mm, yeah, uh, yeah, it's, like I said, I, I, I might try that, I could be bored with them, and I could try someone completely different, but I do want to set up the world as Rome first, you know? I don't want to screw history over too much. Mute my microphone. Gods. I hate Gauls. My grandfather hated them too. Even before they put out his eyes. Did you think I'd be out here on the frontier without good reason? Yes. Rome needs a strong frontier. No! Rome doesn't need unwashed barbarians at her gates. So, that's why I'm here. 
the leader of the Julii, to bring Roman order to stinking Gauls. Revenge? That'd be good too. This war against the Gauls won't last long. And when it's done, I've got plans. This is all about power. Power in Rome. Going down that road means dealing with all my rivals. The Senate. The Greeks. Those Carthaginian elephant riders. The Scipii and the Brutii families too. After all, the man who controls Rome rules the world. And one day, I will be Emperor. Yes, who doesn't hate the French? I kid the French. Yeah. There's not really a lot to say at this point. Um, aside from this, it's actually a pretty... Uh, I mean, given the time it was made, it's, this is actually a pretty ugly game. I will be playing Rome 2 before I play Barbarian Invasion. I have not gotten very far with Rome 2, and it sometimes crashes on my machine. I don't know why, my machine's pretty decent, but um... Yeah, I'll be, I'll be contrasting this with Rome 2. In fact, I might try to do one turn in this game and then one turn in Rome 2, but uh, I'll figure that out at a later date. So, uh, yeah. I always start as these dudes, and something, something that pissed me off about Rome 2, and, you know, it's pretty fair, is that when you start off as the Romans, I mean, look at, look at what these guys got. Okay, the game's deciding to be a colossal troll. Look, look at this. Triarii. Now, as I remember, they are... What am I saying? As the... With this one, arm, well, one army group here, I can just troll this initial area with very little effort. You try that in Rome 2, but using the initial armies without any, you know support, you'll get your teeth kicked in. So, you know, I mean, I mean that's pretty fair and, um, and balances it, but for someone who's been playing Rome 2 for so long, I oh, sorry, Rome 1 for so long, and then goes over to Rome 2, it's real culture shock. So what I normally do is I normally give my faction leader a couple of units of this guy's army and then he send him to hold this forward. So I'm going to be playing in a completely different playstyle. Attack! Slow march. Sir. So I'm just going to maintain the siege. Need your idiom. General. And I will send him to a retinue. Mark. Prepare to ambush. Mark. Just recruit a couple more guys. Imperator. And then Forward. take the soldiers here. So the building queue. And these if, if I'm doing this by turn by turn basis, these will become progressively longer. Uh these videos I mean, um because as my empire grows I'll be able to do a lot more stuff. So I'm just taking out what I can get from this. Population growth. I'm tossing between population growth and law. Know what? I'm gonna go with population growth in my Roman settlements. And um oops, didn't mean to do that. And um public order in my conquered settlements. So Probably just sunk way too much money into this, so I'm check out what I can do in Arminium. Series roads, ooh, port. Mm, now, okay, so done all that. Now my diplomat. Can I be observed? Uh, actually, I'll just check who I've got trade with. I 
was confused by the sound that made for a moment. <sighs> yeah, I play this game so much, you can, you can tell, can't you? So, I do not know who I have trade with. So, I'm just going to send him one that trade with you. Okay. I could send this fleet to do some tricky shit somewhere, but... Actually, you know what? I'll send them to Scout. Ah, um, Massalia. They, it's very interesting. There are no, like, rebel or, you know, evil factions in Rome too. you know. There's Massalia as its own state. This whole area is owned by the Ligurian rebels. I hope I pronounced that right. That's right, it's pissed off a whole lot of people. So... Yes, I'm going to Rick roll them. Uh, I'll show you how I usually fight this battle. It's how I usually fight a lot of battles. Uh, you get have to get a lot more tactical in Rome too because of the uh, almost cannon fodder garrisons that towns get. So, don't you just love watching my videos, people? I mean, I just talk sh so much shit. <laughs> um, I don't know what to talk about though. Rebellious slaves may think of victory. But we should make them think kindly of their master's whips. They are dead men. There is no shame in fear. There is only shame in letting fear rule you. Try not to look scared, and you'll find bravery in your heart! I'm not sure that's how bravery works, but... Sure, we'll go with that. Oh, right. I'm used to the Rome Tooth system they've got set up now, where... Uh, as you... As you, um... You, you, your general... Does, uh, I'm so wonderful with the English language today, aren't I, folks? Uh, when you're in the deployment screen, your general actually, um... Doesn't talk. When you actually leave the deployment screen, the general does talk. It's actually really nice. Also, another thing that changed is that I've never had Triaria, but I know, I'll show you when I get the Spartan Hoplites, or at least fight them, they don't have enormous spears in Rome too. so... Don't know why I mentioned that one, I just found it interesting. Guard mode, and... Ah, oh, damn it, camera, are you doing this to me? Restrict camera. Nope. So I'm not going to ask 20 questions. I'm not going to play 20 questions with my advisors. I do know how to play this game. I don't know how to play it well, but I do know how to play it. No, oh, I just said that one very fast. Yeah, I'm so used to the Rome 2 camera system. I'm sorry, guys. So then. I don't like the battle time limit system because, um, it seems really cheap, you know. There weren't time limits on the battles that the ancient Romans fought, so... I know. I'm an ancient Roman. Uh, like I've been saying, guys, I talk a lot of shit. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna have you guys stand your ground. And if they don't come to me, well, then I'll just round. I love that they got this guy with a dinky little dagger running along. It's like, come on, man, we can do this. Methinks mm. there's sabotage afoot. Yeah, sabotage. We think there's subterfuge afoot. The 
so I have no idea who my archers are actually shooting at. Ah. Man. Of course. Those rebels are probably thinking, what the fuck just happened? God's sake. I'm taking way more casualties than I probably should be, but... I need some Benny Hill music whenever they run around these corners. I do, I do miss this one feature from, um, yeah, from this game. Percentage of allies killed and enemies killed, so you could know just how much damage you've done to the enemy. And then obviously in the after battle screen you can work out at any given gods who fill the heart of the enemy general with fear. Now he flees the field like a coward. Sorry, uh, so you can tell that, you know, if say someone attacks you with two thousand troops, at any given and you have five hundred, sorry. At any given point in the battle you can, you know, just look up what you um you know, you, you can calculate to yourself what the difference is in remaining men is, and I just really miss that. So yeah, like I said, way more casualties than was absolutely necessary in this one, but... Yeah, so, um, not my best match, but just kind of rushing this one, um, sorry guys, uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm sure as I get better at this, I'll think of more interesting and intelligent Victory! things to say, but, enslave, occupy, I'm always going to gain, ooh, unless I burn the place down. You know what, I'm not going to piss them off. Oh, I gained a lot. Oh, it's because of the Senate mission. Yeah, I'm talking to myself a lot, guys. Um, so, uh... Yeah, this has been uh, Ostentatiousness This, and... Uh, drop a save here. No, let's do this proper. So, uh... It's been ostentatiousness in this, guys, and hope to see you again soon, and there will be definitely a lot more games in the coming weeks. I will continue them, if slowly, so keep an eye out for that, guys, and stay crunchy in milk.